Dudes, I have been waiting for this package, but I have a wild goose chase story about this you guys want to hear. Gusto the Ninja on Instagram is selling a bunch of Air Jordan 10s that I'm looking for. Well, specifically two. While I do need the Orlando, a New York pops up and a Seattle pops up. So I'm like, let me try for both, who knows? So I ask him about the New York as soon as it pops up and I hit him right away an email and say, I'll buy your pair. And while I'm writing that email, I go ahead and inquire about the Seattle 10. And he says the Seattle 10 hasn't been posted yet and he's gonna give it some time before he actually accepts any offers. So he goes ahead and posts the Seattle. I've already purchased this one right here. And so we're in really good communication via email. I'm responding like super quick. And he goes, I want to give fair shot to other people. And I'm like, bruh, here's a buyer that purchased the shoe right away. I've done business with you before. And you want to go ahead and offer somebody else the shoes? I understand what business is all about. I've been there. I understand. So he emails me back in response. And he's like, there's a person that is interested in the Seattle. If he doesn't pay promptly, I'm going to go ahead and offer it to you. So here I am thinking, hoping, praying, wishing that this person will not pay promptly because I did for this one. And so some time goes by and he's like, I'm sorry, but the individual did make the purchase. So anyways, I am back and I'm like, I understand it's business. He said he will look out for me for the two other colorways that I'm looking for. But without further ado, let's go ahead and see what's in this package. All right, so here we go. This package right here is a package that I have an interesting story on. So I didn't think this was going to get here today. I was expecting it tomorrow. Uh, before then, I had done an Instagram live. And this is a package that I happened to pick up. So I'm at the post office thinking, well, the tracking says that it's not out for delivery and it's at the post office. So what am I going to do? I go to the post office, go to the post office thinking, okay, I'm going to pick this up a day early. Let's go. Let's do this. So I get there, show my ID. The lady's like, well, the package is probably out for delivery. I'm like, no, 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 no. It's here. It doesn't say on the tracking info that the package is out for delivery. It is here. Can you go check? So she goes ahead, goes and checks and asks me to move aside from the line. I get an alert on my phone and the alert goes to uh, my front door, my porch. So I know who's at my front door. Lo and behold, it's my postal carrier. My postal carrier is holding this box. And I'm like, shoot, I got a dart over home. So the post office is about six minutes, roughly from my house. I left that post office with <laughs> the quickness. I'm in my gray 2005 Mini Cooper S. I'm racing home and whenever you try and look for your postal carrier, you're driving within the neighborhood, looking, searching street by street, and finally you come up on the postal carrier. Pull up behind the postal carrier, say, hey, I just missed you. Let's open it up. Gusto the Ninja, thank you so much for offering the pair. This is something that I've kind of had to like wait out thinking that I wasn't gonna try and complete the set. Now I'm trying to complete the set. And you have me in the frenzy, man. I, I just, I don't understand. Greatly packaged. I like to save these things anyway. All right, so it comes in the traditional OG Air Jordan 10 box with the Jumpman up the top. Here's the box label. Style number is 130209, color code 103. Moment of truth. And so here we have the Air Jordan 10 
Deadstock, New York, Air Jordan 10. Ooh, you can smell it. You know that smell? You guys know that smell, that sneaker smell? I know you know that sneaker smell. So all in its DS glory, you guys have the Air Jordan 10. Go ahead and see the other one. Smooth leather up top, tumble leather up near the laces. So it's got the nice royal interior, nice leather tongue with that Lycra style or that uh, mesh area at the tongue, at the bottom half of the tongue. Achievement at the bottom with the New York Knicks orange at the Jumpman. Now the sneakers that I'm missing are the Orlando 10 and the Seattle 10. So if you guys have a size 10 or 10 and a half in either of those sneakers, truly appreciate it. If you guys can hit me up, let me know. Tag me on Instagram, Twitter, any of my social networks. Greatly appreciate it. This sneaker has no separation whatsoever. Although with older sneakers, you do see that it does have some glue residue. So in the past, I haven't really you know, paid attention to the 10 over the years. I've always been more drawn toward like the newer releases or you know not as old as like a 94 so just over the years it's been what over 20 years that you know these shoes have passed and it wasn't something that I thought was within grasp to go ahead and try and complete the set anyways if you guys like the content please subscribe to my channel hit me with a big thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys later take care